Virtual greetings. I'd like to begin by welcoming parents and guardians, brothers and sisters, grandparents, family, and friends of these distinguished young people to Pope Francis Preparatory School's Aquinas Chapter of the National Honor Society. Today's induction ceremony is a very special event and a cause for celebration. We are here to celebrate the accomplishments of our students, but we are also here to realize the impact that positive, caring, and meaningful relationships have on our success and our ability to achieve. On behalf of today's inductees, I want to say thank you for being here and thank you for your own commitment to the National Honor Society's four pillars of character, scholarship, service, and leadership. I would also like to welcome our students, our current and soon to be members of the National Honor Society. Congratulations. On behalf of our entire school community, I'm proud of each one of you. Thank you for embracing and embodying the four pillars of the National Honor Society. Your unwavering character and your commitment to scholarship and your dedication to service and your development as young leaders is inspiring and incredibly important to who you are and who we are as a school and a society. I'm humbled to have the opportunity to open this year's NHS induction ceremony. Again, my most sincere congratulations. At this time, I would like to invite Malcolm Mahoney, president of our chapter of NHS, to the podium. Thank you, Mrs. Geiger. My name is Malcolm Mahoney and I am the president of the St. Thomas Aquinas chapter of the National Honor Society. Today I have the privilege of serving as the master of ceremonies for our induction event. Before we begin, I would like to invite Father Stan up for a brief blessing. Hello and welcome to this um, NHS induction ceremony. Let us begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving Father, we thank you for the gift of today. We thank you for the gift of our school, Pope Francis Prep. We thank you for the gift of the staff and faculty of our school. We thank you too for all the students of our school, and in a special way, for all the NHS members, and especially the inductees of today. We pray that you be with us as we begin this induction ceremony of the St. Thomas Aquinas chapter of the National Honor Society. That you be with us to help us go through this induction ceremony and to always keep us abreast of the fact that our lives should always embrace the four pillars of the NHS. Be with us today and always in our character, in our scholarship, in our leadership, and in our service. Bless us today and always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father Stan. I would like to invite Camden Kaufman up for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to extend our greatest appreciation and gratitude to our administration, faculty members, our parents and guardians, our families and friends, and everyone else who has helped us get to this point. This accomplishment would not have been possible without all of your support. Our Vice President, Teresa Canty, will now speak to us all about the importance of the NHS Pillar of Service. Hi, my name is Teresa Canty, and I am Vice President of the National Honor Society at Pope Francis. And it is my honor to speak with you all about the NHS Pillar of Service. As members of NHS, each of us strives to meet the Pillar of Service. Every student in the NHS demonstrates an unwavering regard for their community through their allegiance to their to community service. Not only does every student in the NHS complete the minimum number of volunteer hours required every year by the school, but we also complete an individual long-term service project, which allows each of us to give back to our community in a meaningful and impactful way. However, to members of the NHS, service does not stop at what you can count as a volunteer requirement. 
A drive to help the people around us is an everyday characteristic and mindset of every individual in the NHS. Whether that means spending extra time explaining a math concept to a friend or holding the door open for others, service goes beyond a yearly requirement and instead is a value all of us exhibit in our daily lives. In our school mission, we are reminded of our goal to become faith-based leaders in the global community as we engage in our individual service projects and emphasize service in our own lives, we grow as leaders and as members of our faith. The Pope tells us that an unhealthy society turns its back on the suffering. Thus, it is the responsibility of us as individuals to emphasize service and be the change our society needs by taking care of the people around us. It is this innate essence of service that the NHS fosters that will allow each of us to contribute meaningfully and positively to our community. Thank you, Teresa. I would like to invite the Secretary of the NHS, Shriya Patel, to discuss the pillar of scholarship. My name is Shriya Patel, and I am the Secretary of the National Honor Society. It is with great honor that I am here today to talk about the NHS pillar of scholarship. We all know scholarship as maintaining above a 3.6 grade point average. However, as members of the NHS, it reflects more than just a number or a grade. Scholarship goes beyond putting in the effort to reach the bare minimum. Members of the NHS are expected to demonstrate their full potential as shown by taking rigorous courses such as honors and advanced placement classes. Scholarship revolves around setting high standards, taking advantage of new opportunities, facing challenges, and overcoming obstacles that may come our way. The most important part overall is that we succeed, regardless of the outcome. The pillar of scholarship refers to being able to learn and grow, not only in a school environment, but as individuals. When we fail, we learn from our mistakes and work towards improvement. Although there is a minimum GPA for scholarship in the NHS, there is no minimum GPA for scholarship in our everyday lives. Scholarship is about taking what we learn in school outside of the classroom and connecting it to the world around us. The passion for academic excellence in the National Honor Society exists to propel students to reach their full potential. Scholarship fosters the diligence and dedication that we strive for in the classroom as well as outside of the classroom as members of the National Honor Society. Thank you. Thank you, Shreya. Character is a founding principle of the NHS, one that should continually guide us in our lives. Our treasurer, Rachel Robinson, will now speak to us about the pillar of character. Thank you, Malcolm. Hi, my name is Rachel Robinson, and I am the NHS Treasurer. I am honored to be given this opportunity to talk about the pillar of character. Character is more than a quality. It is a lifestyle. It is a way to express your true intentions to others through the values you uphold and decisions you make, both alone and with others, in and outside school. Your character reveals your consideration of those around you. Are you truthful, kind, determined? As a member of the NHS, I can say with confidence that you all exhibit these traits. Whether it be an act of kindness, an expression of your ambitions, or your positive influence on the Pope Francis community, all of you have shown your character and earned your admittance into the NHS. However, that character should continue to expand through opportunities offered by the NHS and your everyday life. Pope Francis speaks of character in Fratelli Tutti, saying, Jesus asks us to be present to those in need of help. He challenges us to put aside all differences and, in the face of suffering, to draw near to others with no questions asked. There is a good Samaritan in all of us, and I believe that if we all embrace that role, we can create a better community. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. The fourth pillar of the NHS is leadership. By joining the NHS, you have all distinguished yourselves as leaders in our school community, inside and outside of the classroom. Leadership is important. Now more than ever, our world needs young leaders to address the problems of today and tomorrow. It is important to note that as school leaders, it is not our positions that matter, it is our actions. We have excellent opportunities at our school, and by joining the NHS, you have distinguished yourself as someone who will take advantage of these opportunities to truly make a difference. When I was in eighth grade, I took the PSAT for the first time. And the essay prompt was, are you a leader or are you a follower? And what are that role's qualities? 
After I took the test, I decided to ask my dad what he thought the qualities of a leader were, and what he has said has always stood with me. He said, quote, a leader is someone who puts others before themselves, who prioritizes the greater good, who makes the hard decisions, but above all, they help prepare future leaders. I know that by taking this step, you are all on the right track to accomplish those goals. Leaders step up to, pro step up to challenges. They don't back away from them. St. Thomas Aquinas was a leader of the faith in academia, and we want to continue and support his image through our actions and involvement. As leaders, we have the responsibility to promote Fratelli Tutti and promote a universal aspiration towards fraternity and social friendship. As leaders of the school, you will have to make hard choices and you will have the ability to cause great change. It will not always be easy. The decisions worth deliberation rarely are. A good leader will be criticized, but they will not back down from criticism. They will accept when they are wrong and they will do their best they can to accept those mistakes. The NHS develops leaders of the highest quality. We are here to promote and embody our school's mission of being critical thinkers and faith-based leaders who embody justice, peace, service, and mercy in a global community. I now have the privilege and honor of introducing our guest speaker, Mayor Dominic Sarno. Mayor Sarno is a pillar of our local community and we are very fortunate to have him speak to us all. Hello, this is Mayor Dominic Sarno and I wanna thank Malcolm Mahoney, AKA Malcolm in the Middle, for the invite to the Pope Francis uh, National Honor Society. Uh, by the way, uh, my youngest daughter, Kiara, is a 2018 graduate of Pope Francis. She was on the National Honor Society board. First of all, I want to wish uh, each and every one of you and your families uh, good health. And to each and every one of you, many of you are going to go on to leave not only in the city of Springfield, some in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, some in the United States of America, and some in the world. And I wish you continued success in all your future endeavors. Today you asked me to say a few words about three situations. Leadership, character, and service. On leadership, get the facts. Have the courage to make the right call, head, heart, and gut. Though it might be unpopular at that time, time will tell that you made the right decision. With character, simply put, is doing the right thing when nobody's looking. Eventually people will see. And with service, there were individuals the people that helped you out. You give back. Believe me, you will feel good about doing that. So again, to each and every one of you, good health and continued success. God bless. Mayor Dominic Son. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Your work and dedication to civil service inspire us all to be leaders in our own communities. I will now administer the NHS pledge to all of you. Please repeat after me. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands and will maintain and encourage High standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Congratulations. Now, the moment you have all been waiting for. I would like to invite Shriya Patel to read the names of our inductees and the newest members of the St. Thomas Aquinas chapter of the NHS. Mary Catherine Agnes. Natalia Alexopoulos. Brady Bullent. Rachel Bonfito. 
Marin Bresnahan. Jenny Budrecki. Sanaya Calhoun. Zachary Caudill. Stephanie Caesar. Quaid Corbett. Ronald Cormier. Emma Corden. Timothy Day. Sophia DeRose. Hannah DeMauro. Brooke Eastman. Emma Eisenbeiser. Samuel Iskander. Kira Fitzgerald. Maeve Fitzgerald. Ryan Gokey. Lily Hayes. Hannah Keeney. Victoria King. Madison Kojal. Tin Lang. Mackenzie Lopes. Aiden McBee. Robert McDonough. Isabella Meadows. Elizabeth Moxia. Olivia Moran. Brandon Nguyen. Connor Nemec. Annabella Nunes. Caitlin Ondrick. Carmelia Pascal. Rocco Pericolosi. Ella Rabidou. Derek Rhodes. Mackenzie Rivers. Julia Rubin. Bryce Russ. Grace Sands. Ava Schumacher. Keegan Sears. Kelvin Thai. Tiffany Tran. Wade Wegerson. Allison Yacovoni. Edison Zhang. Joseph DeMichael. Audrey Mason. Connor Andrick. Congratulations. I would like to invite Rachel Robinson to read the names of our second year members. Hannah Ahmed. Caleb Benitez. Nicholas Budrio. Alexander Casella. Trisetta Caudle. Emma Schaffer. Madeline Kraus. Julia Dennis. Michael Oboso. Thomas Ford. 
Colin Foyle. Lucas Garcia. Nicholas Gender. Cameron Gillis. Matthew Gord. Grace Gustafson. Benjamin Hamill. Caitlin Hannafin. Andrew Hull. Caitlin Horky. Jessica Kenyon. Benjamin LaCroix. Nathaniel Lucas. Cody Martins. Ryan O'Leary. Sean O'Leary. Mavo Sullivan. Julian Parent. Emmeline Perry. Luna Pham. Isabella Principe. Olivia Pupolo. Emily Ruggio. Richard Roy. Liam Russell. Julian Scott. Brenna Sears. Andrew Sarazina. Christina Sitnik. Emily Spear. Samantha Stortz. Sarah Zalai. Oliver Thomas. Robert Trigillo. John Termel. Leanna Vale. Siobhan Walsh. Alexander Retroba. Lucas Wyatrowski. Michael Wulanski. Maria Bonfito. Jalen Du Bois. Cassandra Kosnicki. Jordan Lebrecht. Michael Langoni. Morgan Lopes. Alexander Murphy. Colin O'Brien. Morgan Peritz. Annabeth Pisinski Cutler. Rachel Robinson. Ryan Santos. Chloe Stevens. I would like to invite Teresa Canty to read the names of our third year members. John Alexopoulos. Devin Berthium. Andrew Bulldock. Tandy Brownell. Teresa Canty. Ruth Collins. Ariana Correa. Samantha Culver. Luke Philippi. Noah Fournier. Lucas Garcia. 
Carisha Gogri, Cassandra Gonzalez, Robert Hickling, Eric Jackham, Camden Kaufman, Leah Kenny, Madeline Ledoux, Grace Macmillan, Malcolm Mahoney, Olivia Martone, John Moultonbray, Nady Patel, Shreya Patel, Jacob Pru, Sophia Roselli, Maxwell Sands, Adam Sarlin, Daniel Sears, Declan Sears, McKenna Simus, Megan Smith, Wendy Sobus, Raymond Stoddard III, Megan Sullivan, Lily Termel, and Adam Wytrowski. Congratulations to all of our new members and to our second and third year members for continually living by the four pillars every day. I would like to invite Dr. Harrington up for some closing remarks. Thank you, Mac. Congratulations to each of you on this achievement. As students, be sure to proudly celebrate this honor and always recall the many people who helped you get here, most notably your parents. Your parents make you a priority and they make many sacrifices for you. Over the years, they have encouraged, guided, sometimes reprimanded, structured, loved, played, praised, supported, and redirected you. Thank you as well to our NHS advisors, Ms. Mars and Ms. Nemec. Thank you to our NHS faculty board, Mr. Broder, Mr. Dakota, Mrs. Kelly, Mrs. Mikalichenko, and Mrs. Spence. And of course, thank you to the entire faculty at Pope Francis Prep for your support and encouragement of these young women and men. And to our students, today you were honored for your achievements in character, service, leadership, and scholarship. These four traits or virtues were not selected at random. They are interrelated. They build upon one another, and they form the core of a sound individual, family member, and member of our society. These four traits work together. I am confident that with the academic and faith formation instilled here at Pope Francis Prep, coupled with the co-curricular and service opportunities in which you participate on and off campus, you will enjoy many successes. Again, my congratulations.